And in this video, I'm going to talk to you everything you need to expect when it comes to Halo in 2021, with multiple updates coming to the MCC and of course Halo Infinite releasing in the fall. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe. Keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So yes, 2021 guys, the year Halo Infinite is going to release. This is going to be one of the biggest Halo games ever. And 2021 is setting itself up to be one of the biggest Halo years ever. And throughout my years of reporting on Halo Infinite news, Halo MCC news, Halo 5 news, I've understood the kind of patterns that 343 tends to do when it comes to releasing information out to the public. So I figured I'd kind of use my analytical abilities to kind of tell you everything you should expect to see in 2021 for the Halo franchise. So in this video, I want to take you through the year itself, kind of walk you through the whole thing of what to expect throughout 2021. So let's go right into it. So starting off this month, we're going to get a new season of MCC, season five, which is going to be bringing in new customization options, new bug fixes and things like that as well. And bringing in the Halo Online content for armor customization, which I think is awesome. But we should expect to see seasonal releases more often throughout 2021. In fact, 343 said in a recent development update that they'll be releasing new seasons for the MCC every two months, all the way up to season 10, which takes us right to November for the release of season 10. Now, I do expect to see flights of the MCC happening pretty much throughout 2021. I think the first one we will get is probably actually be like mid January to mid February, somewhere in that four week period, we'll have another flight. Uh, this will be probably flying the custom game browser and some other features that they're looking to add into the game as well. We'll probably see various flights throughout the year as well for things like view model adjustments, Steam account linking, uh, in-game FPS caps, right, PC file share, additional video settings and options. Like I said, the custom game browser, double key binds for all games, for audio options for a game, and also bringing PC features to console like the FOV slider. And I have a feeling most of those features are gonna be flighted in the first half of the year, you know, from January to June. I think with each seasonal update, we could see some more things coming in as well. Like I said, mod support is one thing that's gonna be huge for the MCC after the release of Halo Infinite and just moving forward as well. And you'll probably see some unique content coming in. Uh, 343 even hinted at Halo Online maps coming into the game, which I think could be very much a possibility since we'll be getting some Halo Online armor sets in January. In the September development update for the MCC, the question was asked, is there any opportunity to bring some of the Halo Online maps into the MCC? They replied back with, there's a lot of options out there and it's all dependent on what's feasible and everything takes time and has to be measured against the bug list, backlog and feature priorities. All in all, we are definitely looking towards more goodness and continuing with more seasons. So they did definitely did not just, you know, shut that idea down. This is definitely a possibility. I could definitely see this happening now that Halo Online armor sets are coming into the MCC. But there is one super secret thing actually to quote 343 in the development update for December, but they didn't say what yet, but we have some super secret features coming in. So as soon as we know about those features, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. And also we're very used to getting these big monthly updates when it comes to the MCC. And then the last development update in December they did say that they're not going to be doing any more monthly development updates for the MCC as there are new new games coming out so there's nothing really working on except for new features and bug fixes but they say they're going to be releasing out these development updates on a needed basis really. I would probably suspect it'd be bi-monthly at best just kind of correlating along with a new season post up a new development update just kind of saying everything was fixed and changed and added. But I definitely expect to see MCC doing the heavy lifting to carry the Halo franchise throughout the winter and most of the spring, but leading us into Halo Infinite. Now, right now, all we know for sure that Halo Infinite's confirmed release time frame is fall 2021, but there have been some tweets and leaks from Microsoft about when to exactly expect this time frame. We did recently have the Microsoft Store page leak out November 15th as a release date for Halo Infinite. I reported that on this channel, guys. And we also had, just within 24 hours of that leak, another leak from Best Buy stating that it's going to be November 15th for the release date as well. Those were both taken down and currently say 
to be announced. Now you're probably thinking like, yeah, those are leaks. Everyone can make up a leak or whatever, or somebody could just type in some random stuff. I mean, people were saying December 31st of 2021 for Halo Infinite, which definitely wasn't going to happen. That was a placeholder date. Maybe these are placeholder dates as well. But Bonnie Ross, the head of 343 herself, did kind of hint at this release date as well, replying to Joseph Sane's uh, tweets about the December update, saying, so proud of the work the team has accomplished and looking forward to sharing more soon. Fall of 2021. Hmm. Doesn't someone have an anniversary coming up? And she would be correct because that anniversary is the 20th anniversary of the Halo franchise. And with Microsoft's strong push that they couldn't quite hit of having Halo be a launch title for the Xbox, which is like kind of bringing back the original feels of Halo Combat Evolved, releasing on that day, which is a Monday as well, I feel like it's highly, highly likely that we'll see a November 15th release date for Halo Infinite. So what about until November 15th? What about Halo Infinite? When are we gonna get some news like that? Well, there have been rumors saying that there's gonna be monthly updates coming to Halo Infinite, much like we had with MCC. That's completely false. If you've heard that, that's just wrong. The word monthly isn't even in the December update. I did a search, it's not there. I think people just kind of made like this mental connection saying like, well, we got monthly updates with the MCC and 343 did state multiple times that uh, with the upcoming months, they'll let us know, or months ahead, they'll let us know, but never said the monthly. So I think a lot of people made that kind of a connection. They're like, oh, they'll just do the monthly updates like MCC, but for Halo Infinite, that's not going to happen. I think we'll get one, maybe two development updates before June for Halo Infinite. Because right now there's still so much being worked on, so much is changing that if they state something out to the public, People are going to run with it because there's so little information about Halo Infinite going out right now that the littlest bit of information, people are going to run with it. And if it changes by release date, you know, it just doesn't look good and creates a lot of confusion for the community. I think when you see the Halo Infinite ball really start rolling will probably be Meg. I'm assuming we'll be seeing a some sort of a Halo Infinite teaser, much like we did last year with the Eshram dialogue that we had that came out in June like the month before the reveal of Halo Infinite, I think we'll see something very similar because I'm rather confident that E3 will be happening this year and most likely happening in June. I think the only reason why it got postponed to July is mainly because of like how new the pandemic situation was at that time. I think most people have kind of become accustomed and worked into a nice rhythm of how to work at home and work around this situation. I do feel it's gonna be another at home kind of event for E3 of this year, but what can we expect expect at E3. Well, we're definitely going to be seeing some more campaign gameplay. I think we're going to see more of that, probably showcasing probably a little bit more about the story, a little bit more visual presentation, and just a little bit more heavy on dialogue and action, and maybe also some visual showing as well. I think after you show the campaign gameplay, you have a pre-recorded speech from Joseph Stain, much like we did with Chris Lee. We're probably talking about the campaign and improvements, and then probably leading into a multiplayer reveal with Pierre Heinz. And there we get a chance to see our first glimpse at gameplay of Halo Infinite's multiplayer. And along with that date as well, we'll definitely get a detailed development update. I feel like this would be the really the start of news and information going out about Halo Infinite. I up, gave an update on various systems that are within the game, like microtransactions, possibly in battle passes, things like that. Obviously campaign details, and probably mainly multiplayer details. Forge, and also I think in this development update we'll get more details on flighting. And the reason why I think we'll get a development update on the day of the gameplay reveal because we've had one every single reveal of the day of E3, so I'm assuming we'll have something very similar with that. And maybe at this point that's probably enough set in stone they could do monthly updates like they did with the MCC talking about Halo Infinite, which I think would be awesome. Really help out this channel, that's for sure. I mentioned flighting. Now there's two ways that 343 can go about doing this. They did mention that flighting later 2021. That's most likely the second half of the year after June, we'll see some flights happening. But it depends how 343 wants to do this. If they want to do like a one-off beta kind of weekend kind of flight or something like that, or maybe like a two weekends kind of split together kind of thing like, the, like Call of Duty usually does. You can see like that happening where it's more kind of a stress test promotional beta kind of thing rather than like a true flight but if they want to go like the halo reach route and have multiple flights going for this uh, we could see flights starting as early as august probably starting off very small and very confidential like if i was invited to this i probably couldn't even talk about it to then expanding more and more to maybe in october you'll probably see the flighting process end where it's probably like a big 
brand public uh, availability version of it. But if there's just gonna be one flight, it'll most likely just be like mid-October, early October, something like that, like a month before the release. Mainly just stress test the systems and catch any glaring flaws with the gameplay. So this leaves us about maybe a month or two of post-infinite gameplay reveal hype and also the release date itself. One thing I would love to see happen is the utilization of the grassroots program. When Modern Warfare 2019 was released and revealed to the public, they did a streamer event where they brought in all the big names in streaming to one place to play the new Call of Duty game. It just helped promote the gameplay itself. Now we've seen various things like this happen with the grassroots teams and the grassroots players where they get together for like some BTP event, play against them, you get a nameplate, something cool like that. I could really see like a first hand, hands on experience with these grassroots members where you showcase them playing Halo Infinite like maybe a couple weeks early or something like that. And in the live stream, you have people commenting, like the developers commenting over it, maybe answering questions from the chat or talking more about the game in greater detail where like a 10 minute review from E3 doesn't really allow. 343 has even been doing some live streaming on their own Twitch channel. But the interesting thing I find about this is that they're able to show multiple points of view on that Halo channel from other people's computers while working from home, which shows to me that they have the ability to focus on individual points of view from multiple locations to be broadcasted on one channel, which is gonna be huge if they're gonna be doing some kind of live stream event for Halo infinite so i would find that a really fun way to first of all integrate your content creators in with the release of the game help promote the halo community and the content creation side of things and just get people more excited about playing halo until we get the release of halo infinite and on my date i believe is november 15th of 2021 and there the world will completely stop for me i'll be playing nothing but halo for an entire week just making videos streaming grinding out content on this channel guys and then I think we'll get probably a big patch in December, probably bringing in season one and maybe some game to play development updates. Uh, if there's any like glaring flaws or things that need to be patched within the initial release of the game. So that is my vision of Halo's franchise in 2021. It's going to be a very important and very busy year for 343. And I'm really looking forward to being able to make content on this and take join you guys along with this ride as well, because I'm very excited for the end of this year. If you want to stay up to date with everything that happens in 2021 for Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. I upload like nearly daily now. And so if you want to keep up to date, that's the best way to do it. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out a video on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.